Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. This is my alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you're sobering up or you're thinking about it or you're relapsed and you're coming back again, it's great to see you and I'm glad you're here. If you're sober for one hour or one day or one month or one year, kudos to you. Getting sobriety, quitting alcohol one day at a time takes a lot of courage and a lot of determination. It really, really does. I know for myself, it was really hard getting sobriety. It was really hard learning how to live one day at a time without alcohol. But you can do it. You really can one day at a time. What this video is about today is about managing expectations in early sobriety. Managing them. Like what to expect and how to manage your expectations of yourself in the world around you. Some of these are mine, some of them I read, but most of them I have personal experience with, believe me. And the first one I want to tell you about is time. Expectation of time in recovery. A lot of us think that once we put the plug on the jug, things are going to come back to normal. We're going to start feeling normal about the world around us, and we're going to be functioning okay, our emotions are going to be okay life is going to return back to normal or even better than normal in a very short time well that may happen to some of us but for myself it took a lot of time for me to get sober and when i mean sober i mean start feeling good in my own skin so if you've been in sobriety for a week or a month or six months or a year or even two years and things don't seem to be going as well as you think they should don't worry about it Keep moving forward in your recovery. For me, it took me about three to four years to start really feeling better in my sobriety. I had a lot of difficulties. I had a lot of outside issues that had to be, you know, criminal charges. I had emotional difficulties. I had childhood trauma that I had to deal with. So it took me a little while. So just remember, if you're not feeling it, just keep moving forward because everybody is on their own timeline when it comes to sobriety and recovery. We really are. You might see one person doing really well at six months and you're feeling not so great. You don't feel you're doing that well with the family, with the work, whatever it may be. Don't compare yourself. You're on your own journey. You're, it's your recovery program and things will come your way in due time, believe me. But stay the course and just take it one day at a time. Another one is, is that people think, and I thought, that sobriety was going to be easy. That it's going to be easy to get sober. You know, if I just put the plug on the jug, move forward in my recovery, that it's going to be easy. But I'll tell you something, getting sobriety or cleaning my act up from all the damage I did while being actively active in alcoholism was a really hard job. It was hard for me to sober up. It really was, especially the first couple of years. I had a lot of emotional difficulties, like I said a minute ago. I had criminal charges. There was a lot of things that I had to clean up in my life, and I had a hard time functioning in sobriety. So thinking that sobriety is going to be easy is kind of an expectation that a lot of people, I think, have. I really do. I really think they have that. Cleaning yourself up and getting sober, getting yourself on the right track is difficult, can be difficult. So if you're feeling strong emotions, you have an anger outburst, you have debt collectors chasing you, you have people bothering you, whatever it may be, you know, reintegrating yourself back into life, into work life, and you're finding it hard, you're not alone. It is hard to get sober, it is hard to recover from alcoholism. It really is, it's difficult. So that's that's one that I want to share personally because it was, it was difficult for me, believe me. So if you're feeling it, don't worry about it. Like I said earlier, stay the course, it'll go away. Another expectation that I thought, everybody was gonna walk me back into their circle, that things were gonna be great with you know people, places and things, but it wasn't like that. I caused a lot of damage out there to people, places and things I did. And a lot of people were kind of uneasy with me. They didn't trust me. And I, that came from my personal family, my 
partner at the time, you know, the collectors, whatever it was, to build up trust and thinking that people were going to like welcome me back into their lives with no hesitation was an expectation that I had to get around. I really did. I stole from people. I was angry. I had a lot of fights with people, physical fights with people. So people were kind of hesitant, standoffish, didn't believe me. Some of them didn't want anything to do with me after I cleaned up my life or tried to clean up my life in sobriety. Another one in, in recovery that I had to sort of smash an expectation in recovery is that I didn't have to do anything. There wasn't nothing expected of me to do in my recovery. All I had to do is put a plug in the jug and do absolutely nothing to help myself. Well, I did that for two years and I went crazy. I went crazy. Sobriety takes work. It really does. We have to get off our butts and get out there, go to meetings, help other people, go to counseling if necessary, do things to improve our lives, change the way we think, change the way we feel, do all those things that they talk about in meetings, work the steps, help others, get a sponsor, all that sort of stuff we have to do. Sobriety takes work. Recovery takes work. If we're only going to sit on our butts and think that if we quit the drinking, that's going to be enough. Well, I'm telling you, that is not going to be enough. It really isn't. I thought it was. I relapsed twice. I thought it was. I went crazy within the first two years of my recovery because I honestly believe that all I had to do is stay sober, go to work, be a good husband, be a good father, and I tell you something, it didn't work. Sobriety takes work, and I still work on my recovery one day at a time and I have many years of recovery many many years the last one I want to talk about the expectation of that life has to be great in recovery we're gonna be happy we're gonna be content and free everything is gonna be positive everything is gonna be hunky-dory and life is just going to be smooth silky smooth well that expectation blew me away long time ago. I smashed that expectation a long time ago. Life is not always happy. It's not all sunny skies and everybody patting you on the back. What a go, Terry G, for your sobriety. It's not. Sobriety is up and down, especially at the beginning. Negative, positive events, negative, positive emotions, crying, I used to cry all the time, anger outbursts. It's not always great sobriety, it's not. It's hard, it can be difficult, it can be sad. You can be happy, you can be glad, you can be joyful, you can have happiness, you can have a great times. But when you're sober, life on life terms is hard. Like I said, it's got a lot of negatives and it's got a lot of positives. So that's another expectation that we need to understand. Just because life is not going great for us, just because we don't feel great, just because we're having a bad day, doesn't mean we need to go out and drink or there's something wrong with us. It doesn't mean that. It just means we are doing life on life terms without the booze, without the alcohol. And we need to accept that. We need to understand that the expectation that sobriety is going to be always joyful and we're going to be <laughs> laughing our heads off all the time. It's not like that. It's not. Life is not like that. If you're in a program or if you're not in a program, it's not like that. Okay? It really, really isn't. Sobriety is ups and downs. And we need to understand that. Just because you're having a lousy day or your boss yelled at you, hopefully they don't yell at you, but you had a difficult time in your relationship with your partner, that sobriety is not worth it, or it's not great, or it's not going your way, is an expectation that we always have to be, that sobriety has to be great, is, is not really true, it's not. In the last one, I'm gonna throw one in, is that, in sobriety, an expectation of a lot of us in sobriety, 
especially in early sobriety, but we learn as we go along and mature in our sobriety, that we don't have to be perfect. We do not have to be perfect or come across being perfect or say the perfect thing. We don't have to be like that. We are imperfect people. Well, I am an imperfect person. Being, being a human, we are imperfect. So thinking that we have to be perfect all the time or get it right all the time or know things all the time is an expectation we need to pound, smash out of our lives. We are not perfect. People are not perfect. And to think that we are going to have a perfect explanation or not screw up on our lives is totally false. It's totally false. It really, really is, okay? So thinking that we're perfect and have to do the right thing all the time is an expectation of perfectionism and that expectation must be smashed, must be kicked out of our heads because it'll stop us, it'll prevent us from progressing in life because we'll be fearful of screwing up, we'll be fearful of making mistakes, we'll be fearful of moving on in our recovery. If you're living a full life, if you're living a big life, you have a work life, you have children, you have, you know, you're married or not married, whatever it may be, you have lots of friends, feeling that you need to be perfect, will drive you literally nuts. It'll drive you nuts, believe me, because I thought like that. I thought I had to be perfect and it prevented me from showing the world who I really was, okay? Who I really am. It prevented me from doing that. It built fear of other people, places, and things. I am who I am and I have to be myself because everybody else is taken, okay? Everybody else is taken, okay? And that's kind of the expectations I wanted to share with you Basically, those ones are the ones that affected me in my life. And that's the ones, that's what this channel is all about. is about keeping it real, keeping it, you know, the expectations of myself. Oh, I'm just babbling on a little bit. I'm going to get off this video. I'm talking too much. But really, I just want to share those with you. So I hope it helped because I know it will help you. It will help you. Remember, sobriety is a one day at a time thing. It takes work. It takes devotion, dedication to stay sober. It really, really does, okay? But it does get easier one day at a time, okay? My name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it. I really would. I'll see you next week. If you have any topics you want me to talk about, by all means, leave it in the comment below. Leave it in the comment below and I'll, and I'll, and I'll make a video about it. I've been sober for many, many years and I can share my experience, strength and hope with you one day at a time and hopefully we can all remain sober one day at a time, okay? Like I said, my name is Terry G. This is my Alcohol Free Life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Take it easy, be safe, stay sober. Together we are strong. See, for, see you later. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.